This is the most famous artifact from ancient Egypt, and you've probably never heard of it. It all started in 1898 when a team of archaeologists were excavating a tomb at Saqqara. They uncovered a burial chamber filled with treasure, including this strange wooden object. It looked like a bird with wings and a vertical tail, but it was unlike any bird artifact ever found before. It's over 2,000 years old and perfectly preserved. But what was it? Some say it was a toy, but unlike other bird toys found in Egyptian tombs, this one has no feathers. And why would an ancient toy have such perfectly aerodynamic wings? And why does it have a vertical tail just like an airplane? Could this be the world's oldest known aircraft? Well, some aeronautical engineers have studied the design and they claim that yes, it could generate lift. In fact, when they built a one-third scale replica, it glided through the air just like a modern plane. So could ancient Egyptians have been experimenting with flight? Did they have the technology to build airplanes or even helicopters? Unfortunately, well, Ku Yuent know for sure because there's no written records or other physical evidence of aviation in Egypt. Most. Egyptologists agree that it was probably just a ceremonial object or a toy. But if that's true, why does it look so much like a bird? And why are the wings exactly the right shape to generate lift? And why did they put so much effort into making the tail vertical? And who made it and why? A cedar frame was built. Then layers of linen soaked in resin were wrapped around it. They coated the surface with a mix of plaster and sawdust. And finally, it got a vibrant paint job and a protective layer. Quite the effort for a toy or ritual object, right? Clearly, it meant a lot to its creator. But what if it wasn't just an artifact? What if it was a blueprint? A full-size model of an ancient Egyptian flying machine? If this is true, it would rewrite history. It would prove that Egyptians had advanced knowledge of aerodynamics and engineering. They may have used this glider to conduct experiments with flight. They may have studied the way it moved through the air. They may have launched it with a catapult to see how far it would go. But if they did, we didn't find any evidence of that. We only have this small collection of artifacts. Unfortunately, we don't know for sure what they mean. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.